Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new series that I'm doing on today's channel. It is called Idiot's Guide to the World Cup 2022. So I've got zero ball knowledge. I don't know what's going on. Don't know who plays for who. Beckham could play for England for all I know. I'm going to predict every single game, every single day. Let's see, we have Wales versus Iran, Qatar versus Senegal, Netherlands versus Ecuador, and England versus USA. Start with Wales versus Iran. So with players like Bale, I think it's going to be quite a good game to Wales. They did draw, draw against USA recently, and they are 19th on the national ranking, but I do think they have some a strong team and are a strong team. Uh, Iran, however, has lost quite badly to England recently, at 20th on the national ranking. So, you know, it's going to quite determine the group stage. What happens in this game could really determine the group stage. But I think it's going to be a Wales win. I'll go with a score prediction, but then it's always going to be accurate. 2-1 Wales with a bail goal in there. Right. Next up, we got Qatar versus Senegal. Both teams just lost the last game, funnily enough. Qatar is 50th in the national ranking, which makes it clear they picked off the World Cup, just saying. And Senegal is 18th in the national ranking. Qatar is, as they've both just lost, yep. <sighs> I'm going to come out with a Senegal win. I think Senegal are winning this easily. I don't see Qatar winning it. I'm actually quite surprised with 50 of a national ranking, to be honest with you. But yeah, I don't see Qatar winning this at all. I think it's going to be a Senegal win easily. Honestly, I think I could see a Qatar getting straight out and not winning a single game this year. Alright, Netherlands versus Ecuador. Both teams actually just won their last game again. And they were playing Qatar Ecuador, which is quite funny to think about. Netherlands is actually 8th on national ranking, and before I start this video, I was going to say, it's going to be a close game, it's going to be a good fight. Ecuador's 44th on national ranking, but I still think it'll be quite a decent game. I think it will be a Netherlands win, though. I don't want to give too big of a score prediction, but we'll go with... You know what, we'll go 2-0, Netherlands. And then the big game of the day, England versus USA. England versus USA. I think this will be quite a big game of the day. Everyone's been waiting for us to play USA. It'll be great. The crowd environment would be amazing. I'm excited to watch it. I don't see any way. England don't win it. We've got Saka, Rashford, Sterling, Kane's fit, I think. Maguire, Pickford, Stones, Trippier. Some great players from last game. I really do think we're going to see a big game from England. After a 6 2, in which there was a penalty that maybe should have been given, maybe shouldn't have been given. You know, it's there and then now. I think we're going to see a quite a big game from England. After, funny enough, I just want to say quickly, last game was actually the longest game without, like, a power cut, which was, what, the first. It was the longest game just due to injuries of all time. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a big win for England. I'm seeing a score prediction England, and it's, they're going to push off back, but they're going to slow it down and lose up near the end. So I'm going to go 4-2 or 4-1 to England. I'm going to go 4-1. No, no, 4-2, 4-2. And I think it'll be Kane, Saka, Kane again, and Sterling. And then USA, I don't know who's going to score. That's the first day of the World Cup tradition. I'm guessing this will be terribly wrong, but I'm confident with England and Wales to win. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.